Hey what's going on guys Tech here with another awesome video and today I've actually got something special for you guys and it's all about streaming so you have an iOS device and want to stream so you are at the right place. So this application is called Streamlabs and it is the only the best streaming application on any iOS device available for now and it also allows you to do anything that's essential for a streamer. So before we start make sure you hit the subscribe button. So let's start from the scratch first of all go to App Store search for streamlabs and just download the first application actually this one okay now let's go back to home screen because i have already downloaded it so when you open it you will see this kind of camera so before anything we do let me just tell you what application allows you to do you know just go to this you will see some options called live editor so if you go to this editor you know you will get to know everything the chat box right in front of your video the alert box event list you know already you know if you're a streamer you know everything what it is you can e even set subscriber goals like that and if you go here you can see so many widgets that are already available in streamlabs so this is one of the best application available on ios device because it also works with youtube because this is the kind of official encoder setup with youtube live streaming you know and then here are something you need to know so you sign in with youtube on whichever account you want to just live stream your videos then before that you do then go to this custom rtmp option and before you do this just go to your analytics page on any kind of web browser so that you can see your streaming options and if you just tap streaming over there you will see some kind of encoder setup over here in which you have been given a server url and a stream key don't worry this stream key is hidden but you can see there's a reveal button over there and then just tap reveal over there and you will get your stream key just like this okay now all you need to do is just go and paste this server url and stream key on their respective places right there and tap save and now you will notice that youtube has been changed to custom rdmp so now as you have done this you need to do one more thing so just go to settings and then go to control center you need to enable that screen recording over there so i'm just disabling it to show you how to enable it just go tap plus and you will see it right there so after just you have enabled it just go to control center and then haptic touch on that screen recording and now you will notice streamlabs over there so you need to select streamlabs it will show as a tick mark and it says start broadcasting so now you're all set up but before we just start the broadcasting let me show you my stream key it says j22e okay so right now this key is activated and i've already streamed with this key so this key is no more streamable again you know this just key changes again and again i don't know why it's not static so let me just go to this app again and let me show you my stream key okay it says j22e now i'm just going back to my analytics page and reveal the key again so now it has changed 2qxr like that it is so now again just go ahead and copy this and replace the new stream key with the older one just like this i am doing and then just tap save again so if you are going to do this again just go to analytics page to make sure the stream key and just paste it the correct one don't use the old one or your broadcasting will not be available or visible in your channel so let me just start the broadcasting so three two one okay the broadcasting has been started and now as it starts I need to go to my channel to show you that the live streaming has started so let's go to my channel to check out the stream so my channel over here and scrolling down and see there's the live stream and this is what I'm doing right now you can just see I've gone to YouTube then I've gone to my channel so there it is guys the live streaming is successful so if you just paste your RTMP key with the URL server over there you won't be able to get any kind of error which this application shows to everyone and no one is unable to understand how to fix this so that's you have to do just signing up with the youtube or wherever you have to just broadcast it live isn't enough itself so there it is guys the perfect solution of live streaming on ios device without getting any kind of error in streamlabs so before i just end this video let me show you just my stream key the previous one and the new one i used in front of you guys so this one is the new one and this is the old one that says j22e and this one is the new one you can see it says 2qx3 so it changes again and again i don't know why this is some kind of security going on over here but it's okay because this thing is anonymous and anyone can use this key to stream on your channel so maybe that's why it changes again and again 
so thanks for watching guys hope you guys leave a thumbs up make it blue over there if you're a streamer peace out